guys it's your lucky and in today's video i bring you even more information on this whole um on the total um comet hitting tilt the towers and uh why i think it's not going to be hitting tilt the towers no more <clears throat> okay um everybody knows about the signs now on top of the one building in tilted now it has the uh, asteroid and then today cross out saying tomorrow i think that's really a stab at at the they're making fun of pairs with poor speculation on when the comet's going to hit. I never thought about it that way until I saw this. And then hit number three. The last sign has a heart with what looks like to be a spaceship, potentially confirming that it is a, is a meteor, but an alien spaceship. And maybe even the next season's theme, which I think is more likely to be true. Because I've always said that I think it's going to, all this is going to happen when this battle season is over. Battle by season is over. And uh, I think that's when the, this is all going to happen. <laughs> And uh, I don't think it's going to be hitting Tilted Towers, because as you see this sign right here, it has a heart with what looks like Tilted Towers in it. So I don't think it's going to be happening at Tilted Towers. Plus, they have telescopes on top of there. Why would you need a telescope that's coming straight there? Um, it seems like the first sign represents Tilted Towers, which is where it is believed the comet will hit. There's a spaceship that can be made out in the second sign, which is explained in more detail. I'll go into that better. The comet seems to be referenced in the third sign, Ending with the word tomorrow on the last sign suggesting the comet might be making an impact tomorrow. It seems like the object in the, co in the sky could in fact be a spaceship. Save the World, which is the PvE version of the game, actually has a storyline in which a character, Lars, mentioned his friend has gone missing and also mentioned that something from space is trying to communicate with the husks, which are the zombies in Fortnite. Uh, Reddit user Kinsey shows how the storyline unfolds in the evidence of the spacecraft and the dialogue and save the world. This will tie save the world and the battle royal aspects of Fortnite together. They save the same. They share the same world. The whole comment destroying tilted towers is a nice theory, but for those of you who don't know, <clears throat> save the world just revealed the truth about it. The object in the sky is almost most definitely a spaceship. Mm. For those of you who aren't aware, battle royal and save the world share the same comment in the sky. However, in this week's STW update, we got a farther storyline to the character Lars, whose friend has gone missing. In the earlier part, Lars literally mentions that something from space is trying to communicate with the husks, save the world zombies. The guy is pretty shocked after he saw something in the sky, and the only way to examine it is using telescopes. The, on the, on the object in the sky is also transmitting signals. And as a quest, us players had to gather a lot of mechanical stuff for it. The new cyberpunk heroes launched in SCW also have a sci-fi theme to them. I don't think after all this that the object in the sky is, is a comet. It's going to be just a comet. And given how, <clears throat> given how epic is and how hyped the community is about this, it's definitely not just a rock falling on the island. I don't think after all this object in the sky is just a comment. And given how epic it is and how hyped the community is about this, it's definitely not just a rock falling on the island. It's most probably a spacecraft. It's, it's almost it's almost probably sorry. It's most probably a spacecraft and Lars friend has gone missing due to an alien abduction. About the spacecraft landing, if any place I think this person thinks it's gonna be a lucky landing, which kind of makes sense. It was a Chinese New Year location, so it would make sense to not have it permanently, and to, it doesn't make sense not to have it permanently because it's only lasts for a year, and it's lucky landing. Oop. Go back. Okay. Uh, this week's battle pass challenge also refers to eliminations and lucky landing, having some sort of wild alien towers POI point of interest south would also balance the map since nobody really lands in that direction. <clears throat> Epic is throwing huge hints towards an alien base season four. Now for the main part. Evidence of space of spaceship from this week's quest. If you want to hear the whole Lars and spaceship dialogue from Save the World, check out this video from Save the World Reddit in the timeline mentioned below. Let's click on that. Let's see. The twenty six mention of something shocking in the sky. So Lars, what's the story? Carlos was always tracking something in the night sky. Right before the storm, he saw something that really shook him up. What? Don't know. That's what I'm looking for. And I'm not going to find it without a telescope array. 1348 Lars is traveling into the sky. 
Bonus challenge success! Good job, team! Here we go! Good luck, Lars! 1719, Lars is in the desert and finds evidence of his abducted friend in the middle of a desert. Large friend sends a message. He's safe. And Large says to us, wherever he is, we're about to have some happening. You did it! Thank you. And wherever Carlos is, he thanks you too. Well, what's it say? We're about to have some company. Seems like aliens could be landing in Fortnite very soon. And Lucky Landing could be spot 30 before. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. Um, if you think they're landing at Tilted, if you think they're going to land at Lucky, let me know. All right, peace out.